जा Well, Sam, what do you think? I don't think putting all those plugs into one socket is a very good idea. But Sam, I want to decorate the kitchen for Christmas too. That's all well and good, but where did you get this old thing? This type of adapter can overheat, especially if you plug so many things into it. Oh, I was only trying to brighten the place up a little. Well, you can. But why don't you use an extension and plug the lights in over here? Oh. <laughs> <gasps> wow! Oh, I've never seen anything like it. I hope you're happy now, Norman Price. Come on, ma'am. That's just the light. We need some other decorations too. We definitely have to have one of these. A giant Santa! Norman Price, you are just being greedy. We don't even have a garden to put one of those up in. We don't need a garden. He can be up on the roof like he's about to go down the chimney. No, Norman, no. I mean it this time. Oh, OK, ma'am. If you don't want me to be happy this Christmas. Here is a weather warning from Pontypandy Radio. Strong winds. That's it, ma'am! Put him up next to the chimney! Oh! Oh! No, man! I can't do this! It's too windy! The ladder is wobbling! I'm holding the ladder, ma'am. Go on! Ah! Hey! Come back, Santa! No, man! What about the ladder? You can wait in the car if you like, Mandy. I won't be long. Mum! 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 What is it, Mandy? I just saw Santa! I did! He went that way! <laughs> Don't be silly. It's not even Christmas for another week yet. And I'll tell you something else. You will probably need to wear your sunglasses, Trevor. It'll be so yeah. bright. <laughs> I did it! I trained Radar to present the trophy! <laughs> There's a fire at Dillis' shop! Ooh, ooh. There's a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe as well! We have two emergencies! A fire at the Cut Price store and a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe! Sam, you and Elvis steal the shop. Penny and I will head for the cafe! Right, sir! It's an electrical fire, so first I'm going to turn off the power.
chocolate, anyone? Yes, oh, please. Yes, please, Bronwyn. Mike and Sam. Oh, sorry about the fire, Sam. I shouldn't have left my work unattended. And we shouldn't have wanted so many lights. Sorry. And I suppose I shouldn't have wanted loads either. Well, I'm afraid the competition is cancelled. Oh, that's oh. not fair. But no competition means no trophy. Well, there is someone who should get a trophy. And the winner is... Elvis, for being the best dog trainer in Ponty Pandy. Hooray! Oh, sweet. OK, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. Saturn is ready to launch some, and I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. I'm sorry, Sam. I should have checked the weather before heading off. Yes, Gareth, you should. Winter weather can be very dangerous, especially in the mountains. Well, you can be sure I won't do it again. Going up into the mountains was very brave, Sam. You think that was brave, Elvis? I still have to tell Mrs. Chen we don't have a great big Christmas tree. Or maybe we do. That really is the biggest Christmas tree Ponty Pandy has ever seen. Well, we can thank Penny for that. She brought the fallen tree down from the mountains. She saved the day in more ways than one. It's a pity Grandad never got to give us a magical Christmassy Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> oh, look! Santa sent a sleigh! I think this is the most magical Christmassy Christmas Ponty Pandy has ever had. She's down there, Sam! Mandy! It's Fireman Sam! I'm coming to get you! <gasps> Please hurry, Sam. Lower the double harness, Tom! Coming right up. Have to, Mandy. I got you. Thanks, Fireman Sam. Oh, Mum! Oh, Mandy, I'm so glad you're safe. I'm sorry I ran off. I 
just really wanted to see One Way Street. It's a boy band. The best boy band ever. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sure next time you'll take more care in the cold weather, won't you, Mandy? I will, Sam. I promise. But no, we'll never see One Way Street. Well, you might still make it. Really? But the bus is stuck in a snowdrift. Don't worry, Trevor. We'll winch it out. And I've got some nice hot soup to warm everyone up on the way to the concert. You're welcome, Mandy. I think I prefer the sound of your ukulele myself, Trevor. Me too, Sam. You got to get where you're going. And keep on moving, got to get where you're going. And never stop. Hee <laughs> hee! Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. can't get past the ice. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On my way. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone oh, Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on my interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman. That's wrong. That's Ruby. Norman, this isn't the time. Shh, I'm on a call. Flyers above the train top. No worries, Sam. It's a UFO! UFO! Oh, aliens! Oh, Norman? Shh, I'm hiding from the aliens! Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue centre till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow! Drop me off here, Tom. Nice one, Sam. Totally epic. <gasps> it's an alien on the road. I'm so sorry, Sam. That'll teach me to wear a cardboard box on my head. You mean an astronaut's helmet, Gareth? <laughs> oh, yes. This way, everyone. The clouds are lifting. Well done, Sam. You saved the day again. Lucky you were off duty. Well? Well, um, watch this. Oops! Oh, excitement over. Back to work. Yes. Time for me to get on with all my little jobs. Help! I'm stuck! Norman! Oh, someone else in trouble. Help! Mom! I can't move my feet! Oh, my! What have you gone and done now? It's the quick 
drying cement. It only takes a few minutes to set. Don't worry, Norman. I'll get you out. Norman! Rice! What am I going to do with you? Sorry, Mum. All I ask for is a bit of peace and quiet. That sounds like a smoke alarm. And that sounds like an aerosol can. Oh! oh. My shop! I'll ring for the fire brigade. Dennis, stop! You must never enter a burning building. Don't worry, Sam. I'll go home and foam from there. It'll be quicker for me to run back to the station and get help. Hurry, Sam! Hello, fireman Sam. I was just... Oh. Sorry, James. Emergency. I'll bring it right back. Wow! Oh, I don't understand it. I thought we'd be rushed off our feet today. Oh, dear. That's not a very dignified way for a firefighter to spend his day off. No time to explain, sir. There's a fire at Dillis's supermarket. A fire? Oh, action stations at last. I'd love to have a go on one of these. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you are back, Sam. Wow! Look at all that smoke. It smells like summer meadows. Elvis, switch the electricity off. OK, Sam. Shame all fires don't smell this nice, eh, Penny? Oh! I am pulling! <laughs> ah! I think it's time to phone Fireman Sam. Mike Flood is hanging off a cliff, clinging to a giant guitar. And I thought this would be a quiet night. Tom, this is Sam. I'm going to need some backup. Roger that. Hold on, Mike. Sam will be here soon. I can't hold on much longer, Elvis. <laughs> Sam! Sam! I'm sorry, kids, but it's getting late. I think we ought to go home. Oh, please, Mum. Can't we wait just a little longer? Well, we've run out of time. I'll have to send everyone home. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry, but Elvis is not here tonight. So, I'm afraid... I'm afraid there will be a change in tonight's programme. I will sing for you. You? Yes, me. After all, firefighters must always be prepared to step up when the public needs them. Are you ready? Of course. Marjorie and I are always ready. Clap your hands and tap your toes. Pick up your helmet and your fire hose. Gonna have a great big celebration. Everybody's dancing at the fire station. Well, Mike, you're safe and sound. In the future, you two need to be a lot more careful. I'm glad you're safe, Mike. But I'm a bit sad that I missed the show. Even if I could make it now, my big entrance is ruined. Hmm. Tom? Yes, sir? How do you fancy a trip to a concert? We're dancing in the firehouse, yes, yes. We're dancing in the firehouse, yes, yes. Dancing, singing, the fire bell is ringing. We're dancing in the firehouse. Woohoo! Yeah. 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 Ah, a 
If only Cridlington could see this. Look! It's Elvis! <gasps> Nipper? What's that, my treasure? Nipper is driving the train, ma'am! Stop being silly, Norman. Well, look for yourself, then. Where's Gareth? There's a dog driving the train. Well, I hope he knows where he's going. <gasps> oh, did you just say a dog was driving the train? Mm, not so boring now. <laughs> Goodness, you're here. You have to stop that train before it hits the buffers at the end of the line. No problem, Mr. G. Hop aboard, Sam. Oh, I feel sick. Look, up there. It's Tom Thomas in his helicopter. He's lowering somebody in a harness. <laughs> it's Fireman Sam. Boy. Hello, Nipper. Didn't know you had a license to drive one of these things. That was incredible. Oh, thank goodness. Sam stopped us in the nick of time. Hooray for Farm and Sam! Nipper was the best train driver ever! That wasn't boring. That was awesome! Uh, when can we come again, Mum? Emergency over. We brought you back a Ponty Pandy Railway souvenir mug, sir. Uh, Station Officer Steele? You are right, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm a bit, um... Stuck. Stuck? A station officer steel was demonstrating how firefighters should always stick together. Yes, exactly. That's what it was. A little exercise in teamwork. But uh, if you could unstick us now, Sam, I'd be uh, very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. It's, it's not funny. <laughs> it must be huge! Dillis, I think Elvis and Norman need a hand. Can you come and take the tiller? Of course, Charlie. Anything to help my Norman catch his fish. Just hold her steady. This is going to be the biggest fish ever caught in Ponty Pandy. And my little darling will be famous! Whoa! Ah! Mom! My fish! Oh, there's water coming in the boat! There's a hole! I think we must have hit a rock! Oh, you're right, Penny. We'd better all get into Neptune, and fast. Where is Neptune? Over there! Elvis, grab that bucket and start scooping out the water. I'll radio for help. Oh, no. Light a flare, Charlie. Well, sir, not as busy as we thought today after all. No, sir. We've even got time for a nice cup of tea. <coughs> oh, well, looks like I spoke too soon. Oh, more trouble on Charlie's boat, and Neptune's drifted off. Oh, I say. Sam, take Mercury and the pump to the quay, and I'll radio Tom Thomas to meet you there with the helicopter. Yes, sir. Oh, I knew Norman Price at sea would mean a busy day. Going to sink, ma'am. No, Norman. Fam and Sam will rescue us. <gasps> it 
wasn't me! Penny, Elvis, start pumping the water out of the boat. I'll go and get Neptune. I'm just glad you're all okay. All aboard? Come on, Mandy. You first. You next, Norman. Then you, Dillis. Penny, your turn. Elvis, can you keep pumping until we reach the quay? Aye, aye, Captain. Station Officer Steele, everybody is safe and we're heading in now. <laughs> you all know Neptune. So that's the tour finished. Where have you been, Cridlington? Oh, sorry, sir. I got to bit them tied up. Oh, dear. Ooh, it's getting a bit breezy. Will Mike be all right out there? I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh! 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 oh. oh what? Wait! Phew! <laughs> gotcha! Oh! Whoa! Oh, no. I've sat on my button. Uh-oh! Get off! Get off, you rocket! Oh, look, Mum! Fireworks! Oh, they can't be going off yet, James. They are! That's not just the fireworks. Mike's platform is on fire! I'll call Fireman Sam. Mike Flood is trapped out at sea on a blazing platform. Mike Flood is trapped out at sea on a blazing platform. Ben, you pilot Titan. Elvis and Penny, you man the water cannons. I'll take you. Nice job, Ben. 